During the Pleistocene, hominids would continue to evolve. The first evidence of Neanderthals, or cavemen, has been found in Europe in rocks dating back 300,000 years ago. Our DNA, that is, mitochondrial DNA, traces all 7 billion people alive today back to one woman who lived in Africa 170,000 years ago. It wasn't until 45,000 years ago that Homo sapiens came into contact with Neanderthals and 36,000 years ago Neanderthals vanished. The reason for the disappearance of Neanderthals is highly controversial. In any case, Homo sapiens would survive and through thousands of years of evolution would give rise to modern day people like yourself. People entered North America about 15,000 years ago from Asia via a land bridge that formed between Siberia and Alaska. Early people then radiated south throughout North America and into South America. There was an abrupt extinction of many mammals, especially mammals with larger body sizes, at the end of the Pleistocene. The exact cause of the extinction is still a topic of debate, but many hypotheses lie around overhunting by humans and climatic change. The Holocene is basically what you see now. It is the period of time where we see the development of major civilizations which transition to urban living in the present. We now get to enjoy 4.6 billion years of evolution that has taken place. Evolution continues, even if it's not obvious. For example, men in general are getting taller. Less than 3,000 years ago, the tolerance for lactose was still developing, and now more than 95% of people can digest it. We constantly develop genes that resist disease, Blue eyes are becoming more common, and there are more high-altitude breathers. Here is a nice simplified diagram from National Geographic showing the vertebrate family tree and millions of years of evolution, all building up to the world we are familiar with and enjoy today. So take a deep breath of air, air that has changed numerous times to become the perfect composition for you to breathe and use those eyes, which have been evolving for millions of years to take a look at our beautiful blue skies made possible by an atmosphere that has also been evolving for four billion years and the dynamic landscape that surrounds you. Use that big brain that has evolved to think about the scenery you see and just what it took for it to become what it is and perhaps what it will be in the future.